Hello, I'm Jordy, aka Jonsky7, and this is a demonstration video of a voice attack profile I made for the NS430 GPS module in DCS. The profile can use either voice attack's standard key pressing feature or through an option use DCS BIOS to do direct inputs into the game. This video is correct as of DCS 2.8.0.322. So we'll start off at looking at what the voice attack profile can do and then later on we'll go through installation and some options. Let's make a start then. Nav power on. Nav open. One of the more useful features is getting the GPS to take us to any airfield in any map. For example, direct Qtazy. Qtazy, UGKO. Direct Viziani. Viziani, UG27. Some airports in the game do not have a IKO ident code. As you can see, Taftanaz is blank. So what I've done is I've programmed in the GPS to enter these coordinates. For example, direct Taftanaz. Taftanaz. Say character. Blank. Blank. You are asked what character is flashing behind the cursor so the profile can reset the tumbler to the start position. If it's not blank, it's usually a W for WPT or waypoint, and this is usually because waypoints have been entered in the mission editor. You can either say the letter or number or use the NATO phonetic alphabet for letters. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, etc. Unfortunately, this is a lot slower than it used to be since they changed the speed of the rotary knob sometime in 2.7. One TFT. But once that airfield has been programmed in, it's now saved into the GPS. So the next time we recall it, it will be a lot faster. Direct Taftanaz. Taftanaz Heliport. 1 TFT. That information is stored in the GPS until we select a new airframe after a crash, for example. If we do have a crash and select a new airframe, this we need to reset the profile. And we do that by saying reset all data. So I'll just show you an example of when a waypoint might be entered. Direct Taftanaz. Taftanaz heliport. Say character. Whiskey. Whiskey. That resets the tumbler. The Normandy map is quite unique in that it has airfields that are both east and west of the prime meridian or zero degrees longitude. So when choosing an airfield that doesn't have an IQ identifier and uses the automatic coordinate entry, there is an additional step to set the east and west correctly. And this is partially automatic. For example, Direct Vrigny. Vrigny. Say character. Whiskey. Whiskey. Is it on east? No. So you just answer yes or no to the question and east and west will be set correctly. Other airfields in the Normandy map do not have a standard IQ ident code, but they do have something. For example, direct Le Mole. Le Mole. A nine. 
but unfortunately some of the airfields have no information whatsoever and so the coordinate entry is used. Now we'll have a look at a way to fly to some random position on the map which is not an airport etc. So for example we've been tasked with picking up this soldier or maybe a pilot or cargo so using the coordinates from the F10 map we say go to these coordinates shoot 35 51 08 14 52 48 is 35 51 08 14 52 48 correct yes okay So for all current maps in DCS, the first digit of the longitude coordinate does not change, so it is not necessary to see it. So this would be 37, 32, 52, 19, 21, 53. When reading off the coordinates, we need to fire off the north, have a small pause, and then fire off the east or west coordinates. Go to these coordinates, shoot 35, 51, 16. 14, 52, 48. Is 35, 51, 16. 14, 52, 48 correct? The automatic position entry will accept the first digit though. And if we have trouble getting the speech recognition to understand pairs of numbers, like 35, we can say them individually. An example. Go to these coordinates. Ready to copy. 355108. 1145246 is 35 1145246 correct yes and similarly if we use one digit at a time read off the first six digits fairly quickly have a pause and then the second six go to these coordinates fire away 355110 one four five two four six is thirty five fifty one ten fourteen fifty two forty six correct and if it doesn't go to plan you will hear something along the lines of go to these coordinates fire away thirty five five hundred ten twelve sixty five forty two I didn't catch that do you want to try again yes ready to copy Three five five one one two one four five two five one is thirty five fifty one twelve fourteen fifty two fifty one correct? No. Sorry about that. And if you answer no to the question, the command is exited. And if you want to try again, you will need to start from the go to this position or go to these coordinates voice command. And when answering any of the questions used in this profile, start listening is automatically activated, so you do not need to press your start listening key switch. And with each new position entered, the user ident code will automatically increment by one until the reset all data command is issued. So that covers the two most useful parts of the voice attack profile. Let's have a look at what else we can do. We can save and recover how we would like the data fields to be presented on the deviation page and on the map page. We do that by saying set up deviation data fields. And these are chosen in the voice attack profile and instructions on how to do that are included in the PDF. Set up map data fields. And you can choose which parameters to be displayed in which position in the voice attack profile. We can also press any button. Nav zoom in. Nav zoom out. Nav zoom out far. Now zoom in for. Now message. Now flight plan. 
nav procedures nav clear nav clear long nav direct nav menu nav enter to use the knobs we can see in a right in a right you can also see it in multiples in a right 12 in a left 12 cursor nav direct nav direct outer right outer right outer right outer left 2 we can also use letters numbers or the NATO phonetic alphabet for data entry Charlie Kilo L Seven. Seven. Six. Six. You can also delete. Delete six. Back. Delete seven. Back. Delete Lima. Back. Delete Kilo. Back. But in order to use the letters and numbers, we have to set the tumbler back to the start position. So for example, if I see delta now, delta, this is obviously not correct because it wasn't at the correct start position. Back, delete golf, delta. We can go to any page nearest airport page use a waypoint page nearest VOR page nav setup page flight planning page we can activate the next leg or previous leg now flight plan activate next leg now flight plan activate previous leg finally we can turn on and off the sounds and speech turn sounds off turn speech off Direct McCarran. Turn speech on. Direct McCarran. McCarran Airport, KLAS. So let's have a look at installing the profile after downloading it. So you would just click this little plus button import profile go to your download select the profile click open and for the options we click on this edit profile button uh, the profile startup so at the top we have DCS BIOS mode true or false if it's true it sends the commands via DCS BIOS but you need to have that installed and if it's false, it will use the standard key presses. Just click true or false here. Uh, you can set the sounds to be on or off all the time and the speech readbacks to be on or off all the time by doing the same, true or false. And if you're playing exclusively on the Normandy map, 
if you set this to true, you will be asked uh, whether east or west is correct when entering automatic positions from the map using the go to position or go to these coordinates voice command. To set up the data fields on the deviation page or map page, if you just come to these, choose your fields here. So you would double click uh, navdev position one. It's positioned one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you just double click. And these are the data field options. So if you want waypoint in position one, just select waypoint. And in position one, when you recall the data fields, position one will say waypoint. And you can do that for the other five positions. And that is the same for the map page data fields. If you're using the standard voice attack key press mode, and you absolutely want to change the button bindings, you can do that in this section, button bindings and button press commands. So this is all of the buttons on the NS430 and the rotary knobs. Uh, if you want to change a key bind, if you just ignore this top part, because this is the DCS BIOS part, and the key bind for standard key press, so this is the key press that's being sent to DCS when this command is actioned. If you want to change it, just double click. You can change the key press. Every other command references this section. So even if you change the actual key being pressed, everything else should still work. If you wish to use DCS BIOS mode, as previously mentioned, DCS BIOS must be installed. This is fairly easy. So this is my uh, DCS save, save game folder, DCS. Go into the scripts folder. And this is the download extracted zip file for DCS BIOS 0 0.7.46. If you already have an export LUA in your DCS scripts folder, save games, if you open it and open the export script for DCS BIOS, so this is my current, uh, copy this line and paste it into your existing export folder. If you don't already have an export folder, you can just leave it as is and make sure you copy the DCS BIOS folder, which has docs and the library and place that in your save games DCS scripts folder and just make sure that the NS430 is there. This is loaded automatically with DCS and it's as simple as that really. Uh, the benefits of using DCS BIOS mode, inputs are entered directly into DCS. So you, even if you alt tab out of DCS, the inputs go direct into DCS. Whereas normal key press mode, you know, if you open a web page and the key presses are pressing F1, etc. The web browser will be bouncing around different pages, etc. And there you have it, that is my NS430 voice attack profile. If you use it, I would really appreciate positive or negative feedback. Any suggestions you might have, please enjoy. Thank you very much.